Hello, thanks for joining me again. If um, if you watched my last video, which I followed went according to plan, was uh, my walk on the Sparrows on Craig Namadi. Um, well, this is the second part of the walk. Um, this route um, takes me up the hill, which is in the same area, just across Barnes Gap from it, called Mulla Bolig. Um, I'm finally getting to grips with how to say that. It's a bit of a shorter walk, which is why I've decided to tack it on to the end of the other one. Uh, this is in around about four and a half kilometers. Um, at the end of the last video, I would have told you that I ended up falling into a stream that I didn't see under the grass. So I'm absolutely drenched from the knees down and the boots are full of water. So uh, this could be slow and heavy going because by the looks of things, uh, although this is short, it's quite a steep walk. But anyway, the first part of it's fairly easy as you probably can see behind me. It's uh, a farmer's access track that I'm following. So that should keep me right for the first bit anyway. So once again, thanks for clicking on the video. Thanks for coming along and joining me for another trip out in the Sparrows, or the second part of a trip out in the Sparrows. And uh, hopefully you enjoy what you see. Talk to you soon. Absolute weirdest sensation. I'm walking in the middle of a shower, a rain shower, and uh, the sun's also beating down on my back. It's as if uh, there's a wee hole in the shower and the sun's peeking out, and it, uh, I just happen to be in the right spot at the right time. Um, it's been raining pretty much since it started, but to be honest, it's that warm today that it's, uh, it's not even worthwhile putting on a jacket. There's not a breath of wind. So it means that I'm not getting cold and the type of materials in these wee fleeces nowadays, most of the water's not really getting through and even if it is, it's not bothering me one bit. Now if I get up onto the hill and maybe there's a bit more of a breeze and I would throw on a, a light shell just to keep the wind from uh, cutting through me and getting a chill. But uh, for now anyway, it's lovely walking in this. Right. Strange but very pleasant sensation. So if the walk wasn't long enough and the legs weren't tired enough, not paying attention to the the GPS and I managed to overshoot. So uh, I should have turned up onto the hill down here somewhere. So um, having to walk back in the track again back past the uh, the bemused sheep that are wondering what the hell I'm doing out this time of the evening. But anyway, I think it's just down here at this little uh, ridge of trees. And uh, I don't actually think it's gonna be as steep or as difficult as I thought it was originally, because so much of it's been on this forest track. But we'll see anyway. Just well, it's a good evening. <laughs>
Made it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> that nearly killed me. Uh, that's probably not that difficult to walk on an ordinary day. Um, it's, uh, let me see, probably two and a half kilometers from the start, um, including the, the diversion or the bit that I did wrong. But uh, the terrain's mostly track and then you've got about a kilometer across the open hillside. The ground's a bit wet. Uh, it's not too bad actually, it's fairly well grazed. But uh, my legs are just beat after uh, doing 10k earlier on, got up to Craig Namati. Plus as well as that, after my little unexpected wild swim, um, up to my knees in the, in the, the hidden stream at the bottom of Craig Namati, um, my boots are full of water and uh, my socks are soaking. My feet are in bits. I'm almost afraid to take my boots off. Um, I know my heels were already a bit blistered earlier on from, um, from, from my feet just being wet from the grass. And uh, I stopped coming down off Craig Namadi and put some plasters on them, but I'd say those are just completely worn off or, or peeled off now at this stage. And uh, um, I'm going to have bad blisters tomorrow. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm at the top of this one now, anyway. I've forgotten the name. I can't even be bothered trying to remember it now. Uh, uh, no, it's gone. But uh, it was worth coming up here. Um, I'm really glad I did it now because uh, there's great views. Uh, it's great where you walk. It'll be a good walk in the winter time whenever you shorten daylight or shorten time and just want something that's a wee bit strenuous but not too hard. But I know it's done now today. It's ticked it off the list. It's actually my uh, number 100 on my local 100. So it's the furthest one from the house uh, on that list. Um, right on an outlier here in the Sparren Hills or in Sparren Mountains. Um, it's actually not very windy up here. I'm a bit tempted to have a rest and maybe make another cup of tea. Um, I've no food left, but uh, a cup of tea and a rest might go down well. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Something weirdly enjoyable about being out in weather like this. Don't know what it is. I guess being fit enough and able enough to get out, and although it's a wee bit cold and it's a wee bit wet, it's not that bad. But uh, something just about being out in weather like this just makes me feel really alive. Makes me feel like I'm doing something. I think that's what really attracts me to the hills. It's the uh, challenge of doing something outside the comfort zone, as the saying goes. But uh, I've really enjoyed today. It hasn't been easy. And I think that's uh, maybe part of the reason why I've enjoyed it so much. <laughs> It's bonkers, isn't it? Uh, who cares? I'm enjoying myself. And if you're watching this, you probably enjoy it too, so uh, no judging. You're as bad as me.
Not sure if you can see that or not over on the hill, but there's a, a blue cross there at the bottom of the grass. Um, just before the hill starts or just as the hill ends. I'm not sure what is there, but might be uh, maybe a holy well of some sort. It's probably there's um, quite a lot of springs running under the road and along the road here, so it could be the source of a spring coming off the hill. Important to somebody anyway if they went to the bother putting the cross there. I'm going down a different way than I came up to uh, see the most of these fantastic views. It's beautiful here. Not sure if this is the actual Barnes Gap or not, or whether it's further up the hill, but this is impressive. Well, that's that done. Oh, completely knackered. Legs are done in. Feet are killing me. Uh, have the stove rattling away here beside me. I have a hot chocolate in my bag, and I'm gonna make that for a uh, try and take these boots off and get back in the van. Really good day's walk though. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, turned quite wet and a bit cold just after I left. Forgotten the name of the hill again, haven't I? <laughs> just after I left Mullah Bollig, anyway, whatever it's called, just after I left that hill, it started and uh, I finished my tea, it just started to uh, to rain. I could see the shower coming, so um, whenever I was packing up, I flew on my, uh, my shell and uh, that kept the worst of the rain off. And um, about halfway back down, once I was back down on the track, and the, uh, the, the rain cleared up and the sun came back out again. It wasn't as warm as it was earlier on, but it was enough uh, to mostly dry me off. Um, my legs are still wet, but you know, my feet are soaking, so it doesn't really matter. Um, glad to see, now that I'm back at the car park, that the, uh, the Dutch couple that I met this morning, they were a bit lost, and they didn't really seem to know where they were going. But their car is gone here from the car park now, so um, glad to see that. So it means that they, uh, 
Well, they did the walk or didn't do the walk or did some of the walk or whatever, they uh, had the sense of now to get, up, get back to the car and get home safely. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to wait for this water to boil, make myself a hot chocolate, sit here in this lovely car park. Um, it's not really just a car park, it's a, a facility, I suppose, a trailhead you'd call it, and uh, enjoy my hot chocolate and then drive home and get my dinner. I'm starving. No food left and I'm starving. So anyway, listen, thanks for coming along with me. Um, I think I've split these into two videos. So if I have, this is the second of the two and uh, probably the shorter of the two as well. But once again, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching my videos and I hope you enjoyed it. Talk soon. Bye bye. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Thanks. See you next time.